would usually smell marijuana from the balcony, from their balcony also, and I've seen him out there with friends. We're learning more tonight about the Hayward man accused in the deadly DUI crash that took the life of a CHP officer from Tracy on Christmas Eve. 22-year-old Mohammed Abrar Ali was charged with second-degree murder today, eight days after that tragic accident. And tonight, police say it's not the first time he's had a run-in with the law. CBS 13 Angela Greenwood is live in the newsroom with these latest developments. Angela. Tony and Christina, we have learned Ali has been arrested before, but not for driving under the influence. And his neighbor today saying the allegations against him aren't all that surprising. Second degree murder, just one in a long list of charges handed down today by the Alameda District Attorney to an alleged drunk driver who killed CHP officer Andrew Camilleri on Christmas Eve. When will we say enough is enough? Investigators say 22-year-old Mohammed Abrar Ali was driving more than 100 miles per hour drunk and with marijuana in his system when he smashed into the patrol car parked on the shoulder of 880. Officer Camilleri ready to celebrate Christmas with his wife and three young kids in just a couple of hours was killed. His partner, Jonathan Velasquez, injured. Drinking and driving is socially unacceptable. Smoking marijuana and driving is as unacceptable. And I just was so horrified. Ali's next door neighbor in Hayward says the man she knew as Mo liked to party with his friends. We would usually smell marijuana from the balcony, from their balcony also, and I've seen him out there with friends. Ali's Facebook page shows he attended James Logan High in Union City. And while his social media photo doesn't paint much of a picture of his life, this mugshot does, taken in 2013 for a robbery charge, which was later dismissed. I've seen tons of family coming and going, and I'm sure they're going through a really hard time and trying to pull themselves together and doing their own set of mourning for him. And Just days after saying goodbye to one of their own, the CHP now preparing to arrest the man accused of taking his life. Now, Ali's family did refuse to talk today. We do know he is still in the hospital, but will be taken straight to jail when he is released in the next day or so.